Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyhow, so the last one uploaded, so hopefully this next one or this one will as well. Real quick before I forget, um, when I posted that last video, um, somebody with the YouTube handle Cash and Presley Enthusiast, um, commented on my post or commented on the video. I'm not sure if uh, he or she is a subscriber or not, but they told me that the next the uh, following day was going to be their birthday. So happy birthday to to you. Uh, I'm not sure if he's a subscriber or not. If you are, um, welcome to the channel. If not, thank you for dropping by and watching. Anyways, so with that done, let's take a look at what we're using. I have a razor that I received from Dennis a while ago in one of the boxes he sent me. And, and a handle. So I wasn't a, as big a fan of the handle um, as some people might be because it was totally smooth no knurling it looked kind of like an ice pick it was a cool looking handle but kind of slick when you get your hand soapy or soap gets on your hands so i went ahead and i slapped the razor head onto a west coast shaving dentist scent in one of those packages and here it is barbie duke's head um and west coast shaving handle razor handle so that is the razor. The blade is one I've never used before, and it is a rainbow blade. They come in, um, they're not double wrapped. They're just, you know, single wrapped blades. But, you know, um, I've heard good things about the rainbow blades. The soap is in my Old Spice mug from the 60s. And it is a puck of fine American blend um, shaving soap from um, fine, um, yeah, fine soaps. And it just smells wonderful. It's triple milled, so it's pretty hard, and you ain't going to go ahead and go through it real fast. The brush is one that Dennis sent me a while ago. And it is this one. Kind of a brown and goldish marble, I guess, with a maple leaf. This is a Maggert's, um, Maggert's brush. Synthetic knot, not sure what the knot's called, but it's a good knot. Um, I really like it. So, with that out of the way, tonight's beverage is ice water. I'm going to go ahead, wet the brush down, and get it loaded real quick. So how have you all been doing? I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Um, we had a pretty decent, decent Thanksgiving here. Trying not to make the cup go pink, 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 pink. When I got this bar, I mean this puck, they didn't even put them in pots. It was just you just received the cardboard box with the soap's name. I think that's a good look. With the soap's name, and you'd have to put it in your own, um, own container. And it worked great in that there, uh, Old Spice mug. Anyway, it's wet my face. I've got mm, probably six, maybe seven days growth. So, we'll set there and... I've used the Barbie Dukes razor once or twice before, and if I remember correctly, it's an efficient little razor. It is definitely an efficient little razor, if I remember correctly. All right. Let 
this maggot synthetic knot is pretty darn nice. Um, and this, this, this is a, I don't know, I've had this brush a couple of years now. Oop. There we go. I need to add some more soap. Thought about going with a straight razor because it's been a bit since I've used one, so. Good enough. Rinse my hands. Yeah, I was looking on Facebook one day and I came across a, a um post on wet shaving enablers by, I think it was wet shaving enablers by sound trade. Um, but somebody was selling a razor that, oh, oh, that's a smooth blade. That's nice. I like that. Definitely have to get me a sleeve of these things. That's a really really good blade. I like it. But, uh, he was selling an L.A. shave company. BBS One Stainless Steel Safety Razor. Which, if I remember correctly, in fact, I'm pretty sure that I'm right. The fellow that, um, does the Wolfman razors? I think his name is James. Not sure. But anyways, um But um uh, the guy was selling it for something like two grand. And uh I get it, it's unobtainium. And, uh, the guy had the right to sell it. Just not sure I would want to drop that kind of cheddar on a razor. Um, but, you know, who knows, if I had the money for it, and I had a toggle come my way, NOS toggle come my way, and some boy was like, hey, a grand, if it was NOS, But, uh, you know, like a old 48 executive, not the gold plated fat boy executive, but the rhodium plated executive that wasn't adjustable. Um, once I saw an NOS set, um, shipper, everything for like something like 3,200 bucks. So, all right, I'm going to rinse off. Be back in a minute. All right, first pass down. But yeah, you know, maybe if I had the scratch for it and um, had more money than cents, 
Who knows? I might have just went ahead and said, hey, I'll take it. That BBS line. Um, so my understand they're pretty amazing. They, they were a pretty amazing razor. Shoot, I've seen brushes on wet shaving enablers by Sound Trade for four or five, six hundred bucks. So. <laughs> and they said we'd save money doing it this way, right? Right, guys? We'd save money shaving this way? Have you guys saved money? <laughs> I haven't, but boy, if I had a hell of a time. <laughs> All right, we're just going to do an against the grain pass. So, oops, one on finger, or slip on my fingers. Yeah, this Barbie Duke's razor is pretty, pretty darn nice. Too bad they're going out of business. Um, I heard they made incredible aftershaves. Mowing it right down with this rainbow blade. Um, it's smooth. It feels good. Oh, got my trouble spots real good. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a bad razor. If you could come on across one on a BST. Um, I'm not sure how much this one ran. Because it was a gift. But... Just barely making contact with the blade. Or my face with the blade. There we go. Yeah, but uh, that those months that I was away from YouTube on videos and all that, I uh, I don't know what the heck, but because normally I transfer my videos over to my laptop off my iPhone and uh edit them using Windows Movie Maker and normally I have no problem but somehow some way somehow My computer just was not um, my flyer reason it just every time I did it say there's an error um, and other stuff it just being a pain in the butt. All right, I'm gonna rinse off here and I'll be back for the alum. All right. Face feels good. Yep, so here we go with the alum. Razor Rock Alum Block. 
A little bit of a sting, but not bad. Not bad at all. Brush did wonderful synthetic fibers. Yeah. Very easy to work with synthetics compared to some badgers and boars. Um, I mean, Grant, I don't have like Shave Max, Savile Row, Savile Rose, and all those. But I've got some decent badger brushes, which I enjoy very much. Um, you know, Grizzly Bay, That Darn Rob, um, a Sterling Badger Brush, you know, just a few different badger brushes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, cut, it, cut away here, shave the dome, and uh, I'll be back for the post. Well, guys, nice and smooth. Razor got my trouble spots really well. Um, I got one or a couple of erasers that do a little bit better job, but not much better. Uh, the Rainbow Blade. I really, really like that blade. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up a sleeve of those as soon as I can. Um, the razor, once again, Barbie Duke's head on a West Coast shaving stainless steel razor handle. The brush, Maggard's Synthetic. Um, I'd say it's probably about 24 millimeter knot. Absolutely wonderful knot. Very soft. I mean, it's just so... Mm, so soft. So, 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 so soft. Yeah. No. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's the brush and the... Soap was, is a fine American blend. Um, barbershop scent in my 1960s Old Spice mug. Soap had everything I wanted. Slickness, um, cushion, just everything I wanted in, in a soap. Fine soap is good soap. So if you get any fine soaps, you should be happy with them. Um, and like I said, towel base, triple milled. Um, so very, very hard pucks. I've had this puck for probably three, four years. Still smells great. It was a soap I got early on in my journey. Um, but yeah, really, really, just really happy with the shave. So let's go ahead and let's do the pose. Witch Hazel first. Uh, T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And, of course, the head shave was done with the leaf triple blade. Absolutely great razor for head shaving. Um, I've maybe shaved my face once with it and just, eh, but I'd prefer using a regular double edge. All right. Now, uh, oh, there it is. Put that away. Um... Not sure what one that is, guys. But, it's got a good scent. Getting fine to run low on my aftershave bombs. All right, cool, didn't put too much this time. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Uh, let's see. Um, last thing. Aftershave. I'm going with Razor Rock Blue Barbershop Aftershave Splash. Give it a good shake. There we go.
And this is an absolutely, got some sting. This is an absolutely beautiful scent. Gotta get a second shot of that. All right, there we go. Anyways, guys, that is the shade. I hope you all had a good time with me here on the video. Thank you for joining me. If you're a long-term subscriber, thank you so much. If you just come here and peek in on me from time to time, um, and you haven't subscribed, then hey, go for it. And if you do subscribe, go ahead and click on notifications and select all. And you know, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Oops. Like I said, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Um, this time I was a little slow on getting back to everybody, that, or to whoever, you know, the folks that commented on my last video. I apologize about that one, guys, but <laughs> been a little busy um, with the Thanksgiving holiday and all that. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy. I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.